No. So the mirror kind of broke and that means I need to fix it ASAP and make another one. Now with this project, one of the first things I started with was just outlaying a, a drop sheet on the floor just so that it can uh, protect the floor from the glue up as well as be able to sort of see the wooden pieces from the floor because they kind of look like the same color. And that's why you, put, you see me put down a drop sheet and slot the pieces of wood onto the floor that were pre-cut to the 90 degree angles that I needed to make this thing come together. Now, I did want it to be somewhat an improvement on the first mirror, which means the very ba same basic design, but just bigger. Because every time you fix something, you must make it bigger. Mm -hmm. And this for me was really simple. Once it was outlaid, I knew, look, the basic thing I had to do is align them. Uh, what I didn't show in the video is that I had actually already fixed the smaller one. I ordered a new piece of glass for that and fixed it. And then I started with this one and what I was doing here is basically just getting measurements of what it is on the inside and how big the glass needs to be. And yeah, once I was happy with that and sort of having figured out what the things are going to look like, I then took it out on the outside and used my palm router again just to route, route out the lip. So it starts like this and then... The routing, I must say, did make a mess. And yeah, I did sort of kind of like get it wrong there at the beginning because I was like, where? Well, kind of experimenting. And then I, I, I went in a bit too deep. But eventually I figured out that with hardwood, you need to sort of like take it slow, do multiple passes, do, do multiple passes and just not go in too deep too quickly and you know then everybody's kind of happy when you do that and as well as with the routing the next thing you sort of do once that's done then you start to do the cleanup um after the thing so removing all of the tape all of the yeah removing all of the tape and then starting the sanding process just to make it smooth to the touch because i'm going to leave it as raw wood i'm not going to oil it or anything so it's just going to be as so it needs to be uh, smooth to the touch not give you splinters and just be nice to look at as well my sanding pad also kept falling out because the backing pad on the sander is actually finished and I need to get a new one but uh, you can also donate a new one if you want you know uh, just ask me which one and I get it and I do I keep on doing vroom vroom things now once that was done I started cutting out the support system which is was just pieces of wood that go into the back as well as the same those same pieces of wood are also going to act as the hinge system and the hinge system essentially i'm using something which is called a, a french cleat which is 245 90 45 two pieces of wood cut at 45 degrees that sort of interlock into each other and once it's there you are 100 percent sure that your mirror is not going anywhere it's basically holding hands like this if you want to understand what that thing does and that's what it does so yeah it's it's, it's sturdy and once it's in that thing is not going anywhere now as with the previous project i did like i said mention that i'm going to use foam between the wood and the glass and what that does is it hides the little imperfections and where it's not where the wood is not straight versus the glass it sort of fills in those gaps and gives it a sort of like a black borderline outline and that sort of allows it to give it a, a nice um yeah bordered edge fill outline coloring in whatever but it just gives it a, a, such a cleaner look especially where i made mistakes with the wood and going in too deep and yeah this was something that i had to complete because the next day the class was coming over and i, I needed to be ready for that and I was so nervous about this. Just listen. Now 
Aso. Now, after the class, what I needed to go get is the backing board. So what you buy is like a masonite board. I think it's two or three mil. And they cut it to specific lengths. I bought, uh, well, there's only one size, but you need to cut it to the size of the mirror, which in this case is almost my height. Now, once that was done and it was home, I then just fit it onto behind the glass. And then I started assembling the support system as well as a hanging mechanism. And what that pretty much allowed me to do and what that pretty much was, was the pieces of wood that I had cut out before, which form part of the French sheet system, as well as the support system that braces the back so that it becomes rigid and not twist unnecessarily. And this is what you sort of see me do here on the floor when I'm lying down and checking angles and, you know, like a professional, even though I'm not, not a pro. Now, um, what you see me do here is sort of like a draw sort of like draw the line where i want the mirror to be like the top most and this was to align it with the door frame and the door opening for for the other room and because i didn't i don't have a laser i used green tape same color just one is theoretical one is physical but that then sort of allowed me to draw stops and then figure out exactly where things need to be and this is what you see me do here i made a couple of markings off of that and from that i was able to transfer that those markings onto the piece of wood that is going onto the wall for the french cleat system and i then took those markings drilled out the piece of wood and stuck screws on there just enough so that they stick out just a bit came back to the wall hit it against the wall so that it makes markings against the wall when that thing is straight so then i know exactly where to drill so that drilling the wall so that when drilling the wall i know exactly where to drill come back drill accurately and then stick that thing onto the wall and then with that i know that okay fine no matter what happens because um I had to pre-measure pretty much everything that then comes out where it is like a hundred percent fitting onto that thing and i don't have to worry about things being lopsided i'll even show you i'll show you i'll use a water pass to see to show your eye so your face now the other thing that i needed to remove were the old screws that were holding down the old smaller mirror because that was just hanging on screws now this one does not need to that was hanging on screws and a string that was attached to the mirror now this needs something a little beefier a little with a little bit more strength which is hence i am using the wood on the wall type situation it's very nice and you can see me being so proud of myself here and i pretty much was done i was happy and everything that i had looked at there came everything that i had done sort of came out the way i wanted it to come out and this is the final result So now, whenever it's time to go out, it's easy for me to see me, see you, how you will see me when I see you, you know, get a quick glance at everything, be out.